Good morning, Michelle Saxman here, and ready to share with you some time with Jesus Calling by Sarah Young on July the 3rd. Again, I can't do the reading because that is against the copyright violation. So I encourage you to grab your book, spend a, two, a few minutes just reading through today, and then I'll share with you my reflections. The first one is children. We are children. We are called to come as children. And as a child of God, we are invited to be that light and be that love. We are on a journey still learning, seeking and absorbing wisdom. And that's what the reminder from yet from the first as well as today is to absorb. Spend time with intention, learning the truths learning the fruits of the spirit, learning this journey of self-awareness. When emotions begin to take you one way, check yourself. And, um, you know, who's the conductor of the brain train? Where is it running today? Are we running at a very hurried pace, anticipation? Is it going in reverse with regret and remorse? Spend time seeking his peace, seeking his perspective. It says, if you live close to me, absorb my word. It becomes a part of who we are. It becomes ingrained in our very being. We have this awareness to know when we have drifted and wandered. But my children make the pastime of judging. You guys, pastime in the old self, not in who he has created us to be. We have shed that and we are walking wrapped in a robe of righteousness. So when we are judging one another, when we are judging ourselves, that inner critic, when it gets to be too loud, we have offended our creator. He says, seek my grace, seek my mercy, seek my peace. So the readings for today, the first one is Luke chapter 6, verse 37. Do not judge and you will not be judged. Do not condemn and you will not be condemned. Forgive and you will be forgiven. And I also like to say that our behaviors are a reflection of our beliefs and that the words we use are a reflection of our internal dialogue. And when other people are being really harsh in their vocabulary and their words, chances are they have a very strong and loud inner critic. And we need to look at that person with compassion, not to change that person, but to see it as a mirrored reflection. We don't have to jump and respond. Actually, I'm going to say react. Because when we respond, it has that P for that pause. So don't react. Respond. Putting on his, that P again, response, his perspective. Do not judge. This has to do with how we treat ourselves is how others will treat us. I think the Bible likes to say or the golden rule is how you treat others is how they will treat you. But I will tell you what I have learned when you have enough self-love, when you have enough self-care, when you have enough self-mercy, self-grace, then that is what you emanate and that is how people will respond to you. The next one is 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 8. Now there is in store for me the crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will award to me on that day, and not only to me, but also to those who have longed for his appearing. We are children of God, of his creation, and we are guaranteed when we begin to aim and focus and direct and desire his powerful presence in our life, we can shed the shackles of shame and be wrapped in his robe of righteousness, be crowned in his glory. The next reading is Titus chapter 3 verse 5. He saved us, not because of righteous things we had done, but because of his mercy. He saved us through the washing of rebirth and the renewal of the Holy Spirit. That is a gift and it is a truth. And again, our behaviors will reflect our beliefs. And even though we can spend years and years and years in a church pew, we can spend years and years and years in the Bible, but until it goes from here to here, that is when we know who we truly are and not worry about the labels and the judgment of others. The final reading for today is Romans chapter 8, verse 1. Therefore, there is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus, because he loved us first. His mercy is greater than anything that this world can weigh us down. 
When we begin to give ourselves mercy and grace and patience, we begin to emanate that, that light and that life and that love in abundance. So y'all have a super blessed day. Thank you for inviting me to be a part of your journey as we absorb and soak in on this journey of transformation. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.